How did we get roped into power washing and sanding a patio? We don't know normally do this stuff. We've done window cleaning and power washing for years. I'm gonna show you right now, we're on this job site. But we've done window cleaning and power washing for years. And, and I really narrowed down our services and raised the prices because I don't like offering too many services, but here we are. But it makes perfect sense on this one. Here's why. How bad all this is, all that moss. And up on the patio, there was weeds growing. I'm actually got the GoPro out. I'm making a whole video. We got the pressure washer here. So the customer hired us to, uh, I mean, there was, it's all coming out in a video soon, but there is weeds a foot high across this entire garden bed and all the cracks and everywhere. And there was also like weeds like six inches high and all this moss in the patio. We're almost done power washing it right now. And I mean, Abby was completely green and filled with moss. So the customer wanted us to do maintenance in all the garden beds and put down fabric and all that. I said, you know what, customer, I really think that the patio needs to be power washed and re-sanded. We could take a weed whip and go and weed whip the whole patio and make it look sweet. But after a couple weeks and then a couple months, it's going to be right back. And I just feel like it's like it's going to get weeds all over your brand new garden beds that we're maintenancing and making it look sweet. The customer looks at me and says, can you do that? I was like, I don't really want to. I don't do that stuff anymore. I hate power wash. But... I did not want to wait for my customer to go hire another contractor to power wash and re-sand the patio so then I could do my job. It's just dumb. When I got all the tools and I know how to do it, I said, all right, $1,800 bucks to power wash and re-sand the patio and walkway. And then we're also fixing a couple of the trip hazards just real easy. Like We're not redoing the whole patio. We're just making it look sweet and polymeric sand and then another 1800 bucks to uh, pull all the weeds and all the garden beds and maintenance everything and make that look sweet so we're just doing both and it makes sense in this case one thing i love so much about having my own landscaping business is the freedom and flexibility to what you say yes and what you say no to also the freedom and flexibility to make your own schedule charge the prices that you want and the freedom of the ability to be able to walk and stuff that you don't want to do. So you can be flexible and you can make money. Uh, real quick, a couple announcements. I have a brand new book coming out soon called The 17 Ways to Get More Landscaping Clients. The book uh, is going to be on Amazon. You can paperback, audiobook. I'm rec uh, recording the audiobook right now. It's going to be an ebook. It's all coming out. Well, the book's actually finished, but we're just doing some a couple fixes to the design, making sure the table of contents and everything is perfect. Um, I'll put a link below and in a few weeks I'm doing a free virtual live event that I'm going to teach you how to analyze your service area, what are the list and suite of services you should be offering, and how to close way more jobs at higher ticket prices inside of your business. It's going to be really exciting. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because it's going to be coming out. It's going to be really good, high valuable, free content. It's going to be totally free and it'll help you get the ball rolling and increase the profit margins and pack your schedule with high profit work. A lot of clarity you're going to get from this. Anyways, I'm Keith Kalfas. Been making videos for like a decade now on this channel. I appreciate you so much. And I also see you at the Equip Expo. You can get access to all my resources at keithkalfas.com slash resources. I hope you have a good day.